Hi everyone, this is the CRM Ninja bringing you another episode of The Oops Factor. Today I have Emma Darcy joining us. Emma is from Click Dimensions and if you haven't heard of Click Dimensions, you probably haven't been anywhere near Dynamics because <laughs> they are the premier partner for marketing. Even with the solution that Microsoft brought with marketing, they're not quite there yet. So Emma does a really great job at spreading the love around. So, Emma, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here. My pleasure. So, before we get started, I have a random question for you. Your Twitter handle is <laughs> Tattooed CRM Girl. Yeah. Now, Chris Huntingford's Twitter handle is Tattooed CRM Guy. Is there some sort of rivalry or competition going on that we should know about? I would say a rivalry, I'd just say a genuine community love for each other for sure. Um, I actually met Chris last year in Dublin at Summit and I was introduced to him as the Tattooed CRM guy and I was like, oh look, I'm Tattooed CRM girl and he was like, I love it, that's your name now, go make it happen. And um, I think it was on Twitter or something. I used to just go by, I don't know what it was. I went by like Buns and Roses because I like rabbits and I like plants. So I went by Buns and Roses for a while. And then when I went to Summit and started thinking, Jesus, I actually really like this. I can make something of it. Um, Chris was like, you should be Tattooed CRM girl. We could like be a partnership. It'll be great. And I'm like, okay, cool. And so I, I did it and it's just kind of taken off. Honestly, it's been great. It, it, it was really great. I mean, Chris was the one who actually got me to activate Twitter on my phone. He said, there's no way I can do anything in the community if I didn't have Twitter on my phone and tweet. So very true. there and then did it. Uh, <laughs> Chris is Chris is seriously great. I actually have him coming on the show soon as well. You should know. Oh, God. His, yeah, that'll be one to watch for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it should. Indeed, as I spent about half the day already with in multiple meetings with him. Anyhow, so... You have an oops factor story. Oh my Share God, it with I us. Do. I do. So prior to working at Click Dimensions, I worked at a little ERP shop based out of Greenville, South Carolina. Um, they are not dynamics related in any way. So for people who are like, how does this woman still have a job? Just so you know, it's not dynamics related. So I have a slight history in AX and ERP from back when I lived in Ireland. And um, when I first moved to the States four years ago, I took a job working for the ERP shop that I'm talking about. And the job I had when I worked in Ireland was as a system admin. I didn't do implementation or anything like that. And I was very upfront in my interview. You know, I don't, I'm going to need a lot of training. I know the basics, but I'm going to need some training on implementation. So you and, told them essentially um, that you can keep everything running and everything yeah. up and everything going smoothly, but yeah. that you weren't the person actually putting it in place. Correct. And actually for my interview, I demoed some CRM stuff and because they wanted me to demo something I knew very well. So I actually demoed some CRM stuff because I'd done implementation on CRM before. And I was like, great, this seems good. Everyone seems really nice. I think I'll fit in pretty well. Well, turns out that the training was minimal. It was very much, you know, jump into the deep end, figure out how balances and ledgers and cash books work. And I'm not an accountant. I had no idea. And one of the jobs that I did was on site with a client where I was doing data transfer from their old ERP to their new ERP system. And it was all done via SQL. So, I they, had, so, so they had the new system already in place. Yeah. And you were the only person, you were the person responsible for transferring all the data. <laughs> yeah, so you could see how this is going to go horribly wrong. Um, I have minimal SQL experience. I know how to drop tables. I know how to do queries. I know how to do some inner joins. That's about it. But this role was basically you'd have to query the database to pull out the relevant information and then push that into the new database using a .NET script. I didn't oh, wow. know what I was doing. Yeah, that yeah. Complicated. It was. I didn't know what I was doing. And so one of the days I was there, they were a couple of days from go live. I was transferring the um, inventory unit cost table into the new go live environment. And I somehow managed to botch the entire thing and overwrite all the prices. So all the prices were zero. And I was sitting there going, oh, crap, oh, no, I don't know what I've done. And the CFO comes in. And she's like, Emma, I don't know why my inventory says that I'm like negative five million. Would you happen to know why that is? And I was like. And this, this was in a production system? Yes, yes, yeah, 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 it was, yeah. 
So they weren't even uh, using, so the company you were working for weren't even using like a staging system. No, no, no. It it was a very small little ERP shop. And I don't even know if I was, what I was doing was correct. I don't know. And so she comes in and she's like, do you know what this is about? And I'm like, that's very strange. I don't know how that would happen. Let me just have a quick look for you. And so, you know, I go into the database, run a quick SQL query, and I'm like, oh, God, everything has a price of zero. I have no idea how this has happened. And so I basically had to go to my boss and look and say, look, I'm after totally destroying this production database. The backup was a day old, so it wasn't already up to date. Yeah. And so we had to, like, work backwards and try and figure it out from there. But um I handed in my resignation a week later because I could not deal with that stress or that pressure. Clearly, I was underqualified to be there. The day of my go, the day of go live when I was there, um, I was the only person they sent for go live. I did not know this system at all. I'd been at the company for maybe six months, and I showed up on site. And the head of uh, warehousing was like, "Oh." you're here for go live I'm like dude man i don't want to be here either but we're gonna just try get through this and do our best sounds like and they were so, quite enthusiastic about seeing uh, you again they really didn't like me very much and that's fine i didn't like being there it was pretty pretty terrible so yeah i had to like call my boss and be like look i don't know why you hired me for this job i don't know what i'm doing on a regular basis I, i'm after botching this entire thing i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to hand this off and leave and so i i quit a couple of weeks later, call Click Dimensions, asked them if they were still hiring, and they were, and they took me on. <laughs> I didn't tell them that story. <laughs> you, and and they, hopefully hard. they didn't check it out. Okay. Correct, correct, yeah. So from that, what do you think are good lessons to learn from it, taking forward into projects? I learned that don't do work on production. <laughs> it's probably my number one lesson. Yeah. No. Um, I learned that yeah. definitely ask questions. If you need help with something, to ask questions about it and don't be afraid to ask questions. For me, I felt like I was firstly the only female at this company. I think there might have been two others, but I was definitely the only female in implementation. I was the only person under 30 that worked there. Um, I was definitely the only immigrant that worked there for sure as well. And I just felt like a lot of pressure, like I couldn't ask questions. So anytime okay. I asked questions, there was one person there who I will say was fantastic. He took me under his wing and like was very understanding. But everybody else, I really felt like a total outcast when I worked there. So I've learned that if it's not a right fit culturally, you're not going to be happy there. And so I'm so glad I moved. It sounds like you've been doing very well. Click yeah. from everything that I've I mean, seen so far. I adore working at Click Dimensions so much. This is not a sales pitch by any matter. I just, I love the people I work with. I love the product I work with. I love the Dynamics community as a whole. And that's the main reason why I think I've been successful in my role is because of the community. Sounds great. Emma, yeah. thank you so much for coming on the Oops Factor. Thank you for sharing my most embarrassing career moment. <laughs> we all have them. Don't worry about it. Everyone watching, we hope you've enjoyed. Please feel free to subscribe and there'll be more coming along.